The Power of Chickens by Lord Anut, the farmer of Lyaklau. Lyaklau. Let's open up this ponderous tomb. A uh, tome. <clears throat> I have devoted my whole life to the study of this amazing animal. The chicken. It is hard to believe that horrible wizards shamelessly use these marvelous creatures so often to perform their evil rituals, sacrificing them for their magic. I am convinced that chickens are endowed with a great deal of intuition and humor. The chicken race is made up of 57 different species, each one more amazing than the next, and each with its own culture and way of living. <laughs> I spent eight years, day and night, in contact with chickens to try and understand them. I even learned to walk like them to show my respect for them. <laughs> After a great deal of concentration, I succeeded in transforming myself into a chicken. You could say, then, that I am kind of a were-chicken, turning into a chicken when the moon is favorable. <laughs> this new skill, understandably, had a wonderful effect on my studies. I was able to live with chickens, eat with them, feel what they feel, dance with them, and even talk to them. Their language is, in fact, very complex. I will give you a few examples of translation from chicken to human. Bok means hello. Brock means what are you doing? Bok Bok indicates that one is about to do what one is about to do is forbidden. And Bok shows a marked interest in something. I could go into more detail with my translations to show you all the nuances of the chicken's clucking, but I think that a simple example should be enough for the intelligence of a normal human being. What I found out about the intelligence of chickens is just how pronounced their sense of altruism is. In a chicken community, the dominant male goes out into nearby areas to look for food, if none is to be found. As soon as he has found some, he puts a single foot on it and lets rip with a great brock, which calls the rest of the community to come and feed. He observes them with a loving eye and only eats once all others have had their fill. As part of my experimentation, I have been trying to lay an egg for years now, as yet without success. A recent study suggested to me that perhaps this was due to my being male, but I cannot subscribe to such a simplistic explanation. This is why I live in hope to this day. That is the single best piece piece of writing I have ever read in an RPG. Bravo, writers. Bravo.